Hi, I'm Bob Katz from Revolution. We're going to be looking at installing into drywall. This could represent a retrofit into existing construction or as we see over here, new construction. Equally, this could represent drywall on a ceiling or on a wall. Just so long as we have drywall, we can install ceiling speakers, wall speakers. It'll be at your discretion and depending on your installation. We don't need any brackets. We don't need to do any uh, exhaustive carpentry work, let alone plaster work. All we need is a six inch hole saw. And with this, we're gonna be drilling a hole roughly actually about here because we're gonna reach in with our arm and adhere the SSP6 multi-deucer on the inside of this wall to activate the whole wall and make a massive planar radiating speaker. So roughly we want it ear height. This is roughly our height here. So let's install here. So from this, we could keep our disc over here and use it as a patch piece later on. If you don't have a hole saw, six inch hole saw, you could also use good old drywall saw. And just basically cut a hole around, as you can see over here, Always a good idea to put a screw on it over here so on the last cut you get to save your patch piece. To connect your wires, we could just reach in and grab the wires that you've already pulled to that point previously. Okay. Take an SSP6 and we could either crimp them to the wires pulled or we could use a block style connector as we see over here. Check your polarities, insert your wires, screw tighten. And with the glue applied in a tight zigzag pattern and wearing a protective glove in case there's a drip onto the hand, put the wires into the cavity, turn a transducer and reach up as high as you can into the stud bay and press roughly in the center of the stud bay, press the transducer, the Revlock mounting plate against the inside surface, press firmly, hold for 30 seconds until the glue takes. So to do the patch, basically take a piece of wood and some construction adhesive, because we want to glue this and make sure that there's no buzzing. Put it in. So with this piece in place, basically take the cover part that you just cut out, either with a drywall saw or with a hole saw. Apply a little bit of construction adhesive over here. And then having trimmed the edges a little bit so it's clean. Return the piece to its place and a little bit of quick dry mud will take care of that in no time. 